This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more Sudoku techniques. This is puzzle number 70. It's a hard puzzle from Sudoku to Go, Volume 100 by Soap Opera Digest. And we've already done a video about uh, solving an easy puzzle and a medium puzzle. Uh, this one will be a hard puzzle. Then we have one more video for this volume volume 100 where we'll solve a diabolical puzzle, the hardest hardest level in the book. Um, in this video we're going to cover um, two different patterns, twins and triplets, and using combinations of techniques um, in order to solve harder puzzles. First of all we have a, uh, the T pattern Right here we have um, a T pattern in this square and a T pattern in this square. Let's look at this one first. This 5 doesn't have to be here to qualify for a T pattern. If that cell were empty it would still be a T pattern and you can see the T there. But even though that 5 is there we can still view it as a T pattern. Same goes for this one. There's a 4 here that doesn't have to be there. Um, okay. Um, then we've got an offset pattern. That's this middle square right here. You've got two numbers here and two numbers here forming an, kind of an offset. And these are offset of these. And what that does is uh, allows you to f possibly find um, these two cells. And in this case we've got a 7 and a 5 in this middle column here. There are no sevens or fives in here yet, so that means that there's a. These are five seven twins. Okay. So that's how offset patterns can help you. Okay, and uh, twins and triplets will. I'll mention those as we go. We already found a f uh, five seven twins right there in the middle. So, well, let's just start looking at this a little bit. Um, I mentioned the five seven twins here and even though we can't solve these there are no fives or sevens in these rows right here so we can't solve these but we know they're five and seven and as I've mentioned before uh, twins and triplets are very powerful um, you can use them even when you find them even though you can't um, solve them you can still take advantage of them in this case we got a five seven got five seven twins here um, and therefore we know these three numbers right here right we've got a one two three four five six seven eight nine one four and nine okay and we got a four there and a nine there so we know that's a one that's a good example of using these twins even though we can't solve them to to find these triplets Okay, now we got a 4 and a 9 here. We can't solve those yet. But another thing we can do with the, with these triplets is kind of the same thing we did with these twins. Now that we know these are triplets, or in this case twins since we filled in the 1 now, we got 4 9 twins there. So we know what these other four numbers are here. We've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, eight, nine, two, three, six, and eight. Okay, let's see if we can do something with that. We've got a six here, and so this can be a two, three, or an eight. We've got an eight here, and a three here, and a six here, so we know that's a two. Okay. Now if you think about that, that's pretty powerful. We, we found these 5-7 twins, and then we found these 4-9 twins, or 1-4-9 triplets, in order to find these 2-3-6-8 numbers here. And so we couldn't have found this 2 here without um, knowing uh, these twins, or these triplets here. Okay, let's look at the others here. We've got a 3, 8 here, we've got an 8 here, 
So that could be a 3 or a 6, and this could be 3, 6, or 8, and that could be 3, 8. So we can't solve any others, but um, you see how powerful these finding twins and triplets are. Then um, we found this 1 and this 2. Okay, um, so we, we talked about this offset pattern here, and we found a couple of numbers using that pattern. Let's look at these twins here. I mean, I'm sorry, these T patterns here. We got a T pattern here and a T pattern here. Um, <clears throat> because there are four numbers here already, there are only two numbers in this row. There are two cells that are empty in this row. So if we find numbers along here, uh, outside this square in this column, that aren't in this square yet, we'll know that they go to here. We got a 3, 4, and an 8. We've got a 4 and an 8 here, so we know one of these is a 3. We don't know which one yet, but that's how that T pattern can help us. Didn't help us a lot, but it gave us a little bit of information, and we'll, we can use that later. Okay, let's look at this T pattern here. We got a 5, 7, and 6 here. Oh, we got a 7 there, so these are 5 and 6 right here. Okay, 5, 6 twins. Okay, we got a 5 here. We got ghost 5s here, so 5, 5 here, ghost 5s. So we know that's a 5 right there. Okay, that's one way this T pattern has helped us. And then another thing we can do, we can't solve the 5, 6 yet in these twins. But because we know that these are 5, 6, we know that these two, these two empty cells are the only other cells in this, in this square that, aren't, that we don't know the numbers yet. So what would that be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2 and 9. Okay. There's a 2 right here, so we know that's a 9. Okay. So we got a 2 here. Now, even if we didn't solve these two and nine twins right here, we could still find out what these three numbers are here. What do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, three, and eight. Okay, we've got an eight here, so we know that's a one or a three. We've got an eight here, so we know that's a one or a three. And this could be one, three, or eight. But since we found these two eights here, two things, two pieces of information we got out of that. One is we can't have an eight here, but we can have one or a three, and we can't have an eight here, but we can have a one or a three. So these are twins, one, three twins. So we know the eight goes there. Okay, the other way, another way we can uh, look at that is can't have an eight here, can't have an eight there, so an eight goes there. All right, now we can't solve these right here, one, three yet, or can we? Well, if you remember this T pattern right here, and we got a three here, we've got ghost threes right there. So we know that can't be a three, so that's a one. And there's our three. Okay, so now you can start seeing how powerful twins and triplets are in solving uh, these more difficult puzzles. All right, um, at this point, let's go through the sections. Usually we start with sections, but uh, I wanted to uh, point out a few things and show you some of the things we could do with, with uh, um, twins and triplets and patterns. Let's just go through the sections now. We've got ones here, so that's a one. Okay, we've got a one here, one there. So one of these is a one. We got a one, one, one. Got one, one, one here. But since we've got a wall right here, there's another pattern. There's a wall right here. We've got a one here, so we can't. These can't be ones. So we know we've got ghost ones here. So one of these has to be a one, and that's a one already. Okay. And then we've got ones here. We've got a one there. Here one. Okay. 
All right, let's go to twos. Two. Two, two, two. So one of those is a two. Two here. Two. Two. Two, two, two. Okay. Now, if you remember, this was these were ones right here. Can't be a one in the middle. And we've also got twos here now. We've got twos there, so these are one two twins. Okay, so let's look at that for a minute. We've got one two here. Uh, we can't solve them, but we know they're twins. So what's missing? We've got a four here. Let's see, one two three four five six seven eight nine four seven and nine. Well, there's a four there and a four here. So that's a four. Okay. Uh, seven and nine. Can we solve those? Uh, no, we can't. But these seven nine twins here, we know we only have two cells empty in this row here. So the, we know these are seven nine also, because this can be only be a seven or a nine. And we've got a nine right there. So that's a seven. That's a nine. It's a seven. Okay. All right, so let's continue on with our sections. Uh, we're doing threes now. We've got a three here, three here, three here. Okay, now we got these ghost threes again. We got a three there, ghost threes there. So one of these is a three, and we've got three here. So that means we have ghost threes here, three there, ghost threes here, because the three has to be in one of these two. So we got threes here, ghost threes here. So ghost threes, ghost threes, and a three. So that's a three right there. Okay. Um, <coughs> let's see, three, three, three. There's a three there. Um, we got a three here. One of these is a three. Three. Uh, one thing I was going to point out earlier, but got so busy because we were finding so many twins and triplets and, and numbers. We at the very beginning of this puzzle, we have a three eight here, we have a three eight here, and we have a three eight here. So we know these are three eight twins right here. Okay. I just wanted to point that out. We won't do anything with those right now. Let's just continue on with our sections. We got a four right here. So one of these is a four, so that's a four. We got four there, ghost fours there, so that's a four. Okay, we've only got one number here, so let's fill it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a six. Okay, so fours, got four, four, four. And we got fours in the middle here. That's right, we do have four nine twins here, so we know one of these has to be a four. That can't be a four. Okay, so we got four, 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 four. There's a four right there. And that will allow us to fill this four in. Okay, because we got fours here, four ghost fours there. Okay, five. We've got a five. One of these is a five. We've got a five there. Let's see. Five can go anywhere there. A five has to be one of these. There are five, seven twins. Oh, and by the way, we've got a seven there, so let's fill those in. Okay. So now we can. Now we've got a five here and a five here and a five there, so that's a five. So now we've got fives. Let's start over here. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Okay, sixes. Six. Six there. <coughs> 
six there, six, six, I've got a six here and a six here, so that's a six right there. Six, six, six. Sevens. There's seven there. Okay, seven, seven, seven. We've got a seven there, so one of these is a seven. Seven, seven, seven. And then this is a seven right here. Seven, seven, okay, eights. Eight, eight, eight. We've got a eight right there, so that's an eight. Once we got that, now we can fill in our three eight twins here. Okay, so eight eight eight, eight eight eight. Got all our eights now. Nines, a nine and a nine there, so that's a nine. Nine nine, that's a nine. Only got one number left here. It's a three. It looks like one two three. We got one number here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So now we can continue on with our nines. We got nine, nine there, so that's a nine. So that's a four. There's our four nine twins. Okay, nine, nine, nine. Okay. Now we're starting to uh, pretty much finish the puzzle we don't have very many cells left so let's just look around and see what we can find here we've got a two here one, one two three four five six seven eight nine two and six we don't have a two or a six here uh, here we've only got one number missing in these two columns let's just do those one two three four five six seven eight nine three here we've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. You notice how I, even though I find the number, I just go through the rest of the, the numbers just to make sure that I've got the right number there. And now we have a two six here, and we got a two there and a six there, so we know this is six and two. So now we've got five six twins here, the ones we found at the beginning of the puzzle. There's a six. Five and six there. Uh, we've got two numbers missing here and two here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one and two missing, and one and two missing there. Do we have a one or a two here? No, no one or two there. So we can't solve those yet. Let's look at um, this. Let's look at these two columns here. One, two, five, two and five. There's a five there, so that's a two. It's a five. Okay, and what do we have left? One, two, three, four, one and four. There's a four there, so one. Okay, now we should be able to fill, fill these in. Now we got, let's see, one, two there, and one, two there. There's a one there, so that's a two. That's a one, and that's a two. And we've only got three numbers left here, three cells left. One, 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 two, three, 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 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. So that was a hard puzzle, and using combinations of techniques, we were able to solve it pretty quickly. Um, hopefully that helped you understand these T patterns and offset patterns. And, uh, and again, twins and triplets are so powerful when you find them. Even though you can't solve them, you can still use them to your advantage. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, watch for the, the diabolical puzzle coming soon from vol volume 100.